Hello, I'm Malcolm. I'm a indie film and TV producer and consultant. My background is in business and legal affairs. Certainly in the beginning I didn't. Um, things fell apart and I just had to get on with coping. I needed time to take it on board, what my role was. And I, it wasn't a voluntary role, it kind of just happened. Uh, and it took quite a while to come to terms with it. I'm a lot more comfortable now with the term. Uh, but it doesn't define who I am. My new caring responsibilities severely impacted on my life and my work. Uh, I just had to get on with things. Um, initially I was isolated, kind of because I cut myself off. Um, that started affecting my mental health, and my physical health. Um, I was really struggling emotionally at the beginning. It was a year later that I started developing strategies to cope, and that was when I first went to a carer support group, and I attended uh, some carer training for carers new to looking after someone with mental health difficulties. And that was a real um, life change for me. And I learnt the importance of creating time for myself. And it was in those sessions that I really began to realise that I had to claw back time for myself to go swimming, to go cycling, to meditate again, to continue with the things I enjoy doing. And over time, it's become even clearer how boundary I have to be to enable that to happen. Over the last few years I've increasingly come out as a carer. Uh, when I got involved with raising films as a volunteer and then with this charity to improve mental health in the industry. And through that work I've met other carers who work in film and TV. In fact a group of us have set up the new Film and TV Carers Club which is a Facebook group. We're just starting out, uh, and we do hope to launch a website later this year. But we're already providing peer support. We have a monthly drop-in online session run by carers for carers. I find it really helpful when I talk to other carers. And there's a strength that comes from speaking with people that know what you've gone through. There's an honesty to the hardships that we face that maybe friends and family never quite understand. Being a carer has certainly improved my resilience, my patience, my communication skills, and my ability to cope under pressure. All skills that employers need, and they all complement the existing skills I have from my previous jobs. If I could change one thing in the industry, be more care awareness and more openness. It still sometimes feel like being a carer is being one of the last invisible, marginalised minorities. Employers need to hear more carer stories and listen to more carers voices. We all know that caring affects carers in different ways. Employers need training and support to be able to manage those adaptations that they might be able to make quite easily without expense or doing too many things. They need to be flexible to accommodate the changes. We all need better policies on flexible working practices and returner schemes. Carers like me want to remain in the industry and employers need dedicated, skilled workers like us. By talking more about our caring roles and the challenges we face, we can build a better industry for ourselves and our colleagues. All of us can help to ensure that we have an inclusive, positive culture. Mm -hmm.